my name is Chloe, as I mentioned, and I'm a cloud advocate here at Microsoft. And my talk today is going to be about Mario Kart astrology, which is something you've probably never heard of because I invented it. Um, and this is my first time giving this talk. So uh, a little bit about me. Um, I work at Microsoft. I build a lot of fun IoT things, things with the Face API, things with Azure Functions, uh, things like fake boyfriends. Come and see me after if you're interested in a workshop on that. Um, this is a little name badge that I'm happy to chat with after. This is actually a Microsoft product with the Pimroni board. So I get to teach developers how to build really cool things with Microsoft tools. Um, I'm a little obsessed with Clippy. I love him. Um, and uh, I'm an actress turn dev. Um, so you'll notice that my demos and examples are a little bit more quirky than, than the average one. Um, so uh, this, this talk kind of started because um, or, or this project, I should say, started because I tweet a lot of really bad dad jokes all the time. Uh, here's an example. I like my coffee like I like my browser tabs an excessive amount to the point where it causes me mild anxiety. Um, <laughs> I really enjoy a good, a good pun. So this project actually started with a tweet. Um, I was playing Mario Kart with my boyfriend on our Nintendo Switch, and he was taking a really long time to choose his character, and I was like, come on, you know you're going to choose Bowser. He chooses Bowser every time. And I said something to the effect of, of like, wow, your, your Mario Kart character really says something about your personality. So I tweeted this, which says, in my opinion, your chosen Mario Kart character says way more than your Zodiac sign does. If you choose Toad, you're like, OK, you're an introvert. And then you choose Bowser, and you're like, OK, who hurt you? Um, <laughs> And I really believed in this. I'm not really someone who believes in astrology, but I truly believed that your chosen Mario Kart character really said something about who you were as a person. So. Um, I started to think a little bit more about the science behind this in my brain. Um, so it's not something that's randomly assigned to you, like, like a Virgo or a, a, you know Aries or something like that. Um, so for example, for me, I usually go for the smaller, cute, pink characters. Um, so um, for example, the peaches, the uh, toadettes, and also when I'm feeling a little wild, I'm feeling a little crazy. I'll go with Yoshi. Um, <laughs> but then I noticed that my boyfriend, uh, Ty, he chooses Bowser and Wario and Dry Bones. So I was like, OK, small and cute and pink creatures. That kind of aligns with my personality. Large and evil villains. <laughs> Hmm. Um, so I was putting these correlations together, and I was like, uh-oh, <laughs> this isn't good. But then I started asking people on Twitter, you know, who are your, your Mario Kart characters that you play? Because, you know, you kind of get to know your friends, and, and they have their, their ones that they're used to. So after I put that tweet, people started asking me for my interpretations, just for fun. And I started responding to them. And so someone said, what does Yoshi say about a person? And I said, you are eager to please. I thought that kind of aligned with it. Um, so... Uh, what does pink gold peach say about me? You have excellent taste and you don't put up with other people's crap. So these I was just kind of doing off the top of my head. Um, Twitter can be trash sometimes, but this was a moment where <laughs> it was just very pure. Green shy guy, you are green and be shy. Um, so it was really kind of a fun thing to think about and a uh, really fun amazing Twitter thing was um, this wonderful Twitter follower that I had said 10 down 33 to go he was keeping track of them in a Google Doc and it, it kind of became this fun gamified thing for everyone and then he uh, did Google Sheets are, are 2000 and late so Google or GitHub pages um, are 3008 so he put together this amazing little template site for me and it was so sweet he just whipped it up with um, uh, NES.CSS which I'll talk about in a little bit NES react and the Super Mario wiki for the images so it's sort of this little fill in the blank thing and just gifted it to me and said, here's some open source for you. So thank you, Stephen, for that. Um, so uh, I finally got around to playing with the Microsoft Face API while I was at work. And um, I put together a fun little demo using the Microsoft Face API and Mario Kart images. So I'll walk through that real quick. Here's a little map of, of what I'm going to show you. Throwing a banana peel at an opponent is an optional step. 
in this project if you want to recreate it at home. Um, so step one, I used the Microsoft Face API. And if you're unfamiliar with that, it's a cognitive service that basically provides algorithms for detecting and recognizing and analyzing human faces in images. So it can detect multiple faces, creates a face ID for them, um, finding similar faces, uh, face grouping. Um, so I wanted to be able to detect emotion from Mario Kart images to make these kind of horoscope-like things. And I was ready, I was totally ready to assess my data, start building it, but I ran into an issue, which is that the Microsoft Face API doesn't do cartoon faces. It only does human faces. So I got kind of sad for a second, but then I was like, wait a second, cosplay. <laughs> So I started playing a little bit with putting cosplay images into the Microsoft Face API. And as long as they didn't have some sort of obstructive mask that was covering a majority of their face, even face paint still picked things up. So um, I kept certain elements besides emotion when I was detecting these things um, and building this project. So for example, you'll notice um, I, I keep facial hair in there, age just for fun, because baby Mario, regular Mario, come on, we got <laughs> we gotta know the different, the different horoscopes. So, um, sadly, and I'll say this before I dive into the code, more people need to cosplay Iggy and Ludwig because I couldn't find enough data on those two characters. So if anybody's looking for a new character to cosplay, try doing that. So um, so it's, it's pretty simple. I, I can walk through the, the code here, but it's pretty simple here. So I'm basically putting the image URL um, and the face API URL in here um, with my subscription key. And then um, I'm returning the attributes and the parameters that I want. So returning the face, ap uh, face ID um, and returning the attributes of age, head pose, smile, emotion, hair, makeup, accessories, and facial hair. Because, you know, Mario has a big mustache that we want to detect, and a tiny mustache from Waluigi as well. Um, so here we go. So here is um, kind of a breakdown. So Lemmy Koopa, he's a rainbow turtle looking question mark <laughs> creature who he appears pretty happy in this image. Um, so I tried to keep the cosplay images pretty true to the images of the actual characters. So there were a lot of smiling Bowsers at Comic-Con. Couldn't use those because, as we all know, Bowser is not smiling that much. So I tried to match it pretty well. And I think I did a pretty good job with this one. <laughs> I found this guy sticking his tongue out. He's wearing a mask, but it's not covering enough. It's still able to detect the eyes here. Um, so with these results that came back, and again, here's, here's a look at the, the code that I put in to generate this. And it spits out something like this. But I will walk through it so we can all see. So first thing here is the face ID. And so each um, face in the image, there's only one in this case, is given a unique uh, persisted face ID. Um, emotions, which are right Oh, no, this is the face rectangles. So those are the dimensions of the rectangle that um, the Microsoft Face API is detecting where the faces are. So if this was an image that had multiple faces in it, we would have multiple um, face rectangles in this image. And then as I go through more, so here you can see uh, from this we were able to detect neutral was 0.27% and then happiness 0.729%. So that's kind of what I was basing my horoscopes off of in this case. And then as we go through more, we've got accessories here. So it's saying it's, it's 0.89 confident that has, it has glasses. I mean, those look kind of like glasses, but sure, we'll call them glasses. And um, as you go through, there's a lot more that you can detect. So then step two, funnest step, write some silly horoscopes based on the data. So here's some examples um, of how the website is, is set up. So I have all the data just for the sake of, of transparency on there showing um, for baby Mario. As you can see, it's pretty neutral with some sadness. So you're a baby, so you're pretty chill, but you've been known to get emotional sometimes. <laughs> and then for Donkey Kong, of course, you're constantly surprised by everything, especially banana peels in the road. For whatever reason, the cosplay images I used for this one detected a lot of surprise. So, uh, so yeah. And then last but not least, um, I added some nes.css and uh, I deployed it to GitHub pages. Um, so this is really fun. Uh, so Steven had put together this part ahead of time. I actually had never never heard of nes.css, but I highly recommend it if you're just putting together a fun little, little page, some really great stuff on there. And um, here's a little look at what the, the website looks like. This exists uh, as a GitHub page. You can access it uh, through my GitHub. And I basically went through for a bunch of characters and made some really fun um, fake horoscopes from whatever emotions I detected. So you can make your own horoscopes of 
Rick and Morty characters or the Disney princesses or whatever, Joker, I don't know. <laughs> What's, what are the kids watching these days? Um, but literally, you can put in any image to, to detect um, whatever kind of horoscope that you want to make. Um, if you're interested in trying this out yourself or playing around with the Face API, for example, I've seen some really, really cool demos where um, you know the cool sunglasses, you can like land them on all your friends' faces. There's really the possibilities are endless with what you can do with it. You can go to aka.ms slash Mario Kart SF um, or come talk to me after and yeah that's pretty much my talk um, unless anybody has any questions I think I have an extra minute or two anyone no okay it's cool. Does anyone have any questions no <laughs> thanks y'all yeah thanks <laughs> Woo!